Service. Here you go, Ada. One slightly dented but still functional radar beacon. This will do nicely. And with any luck, it'll help us trace the mechanist's signal. I hope getting it was worth the trouble. I'm sorry if retrieving the component caused you any harm. I'm going to begin my decryption routine, but it could take a while. In the meantime, I've picked up another Robobrain beacon signal. It should be the last one you'll need to collect. So, where exactly is the last Robobrain located? Yes. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? If my calculations are correct, the signal is coming from... Oh, this isn't good. Location confirmed. The Robobrain is at Fort Hagen Satellite Array, which means it's in the hands of the Rust Devils. Who or what are the Rust Devils? Allow me to explain. My old caravan encountered them once while crossing the river into the city. The Rust Devils are a group of ruthless raiders who utilize robots for their nefarious practices. They scour the Commonwealth looking for my kind. What they can't capture and reprogram, they strip for spare parts. I realize they pose a greater threat to me than you. I just want you to be well informed. That being said, despite what lies ahead, I can easily continue to decrypt the signal as we proceed. So shall we be on our way? Thank you. 
Must we play hide and seek now? Well done, sir. to them. Fortunately for me, they're stupid enough to actually believe anything I say. Admittedly, it hasn't gotten me very far, but it has saved me from the same fate as my rather unfortunate comrades you see in pieces around you. Now, back to my original question. What are you doing here? Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon? How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for, and you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% chance 
that you're looking for the Mechanist. If I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. How could I possibly help you? Willing to listen? How surprising. I'll take that as a gesture of good faith as I describe our potential bargain. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the Mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access, but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we've made. Now that we have that out of the way, do we have a deal? Deal. A wise decision. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. Do not interfere with security operations.
Thank goodness we are out of that hole. Don't think your job is done. I refuse to cooperate until you provide a body that meets my standards. Hey. What can I do for you? Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo-brains are notorious for being... Well, a real pain in the neck. What else do you know about the Mater? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, there were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit, shall we say, unhinged. Hopefully, this particular robo-brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. A union of organic matter and robotics? Sounds an awful lot like a synth. Not at all. The robo-brain was built with a very different design philosophy in mind. General Atomic's intent was to use the human brain to augment the robot's functions. Primarily, to accelerate the decision-making process. Free thought and individuality was never intended. These were expressly built like soldiers, to follow orders without question. The robo-brain's unfortunate tendency towards violence and aggression should be considered more of a malfunction than a calculated decision. Now that you have the final radar beacon, will it be enough to track down the mechanist's location? I certainly hope so. I've already started the calculations while we've been having this conversation. That still doesn't explain why you need that head back. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Why would you say something like that? Isn't it obvious? Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. You shouldn't think that way. Your personality helps you think creatively. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but it's obvious that having my personality mode on is causing me to make mistakes. I promise I'll do my best to make sure it doesn't happen again. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Interesting. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. Interesting. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. What kind of body were you expecting? Considering I look like a junk bot that's been hastily welded together by an amateur, I'd say almost anything else would have been better. However, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, given your limited skill set derived from your equally diminished intelligence. Sorry, your highness. The royal tailor has been quite ill, and I'm afraid the task fell to me instead. If you're attempting to use sarcasm as an intimidation tactic, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming. A veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions, 
to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. Helping the people of the Commonwealth? You? Absolutely. It's my primary directive. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. The Mechanist gave you these instructions? To kill people? Well, not exactly. The specific instruction was to help people. I merely interpreted the most efficient way to perform my duties. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. Can we stop with the petty bickering and just get to the part where you tell me how to access the Mechanist's facility? I promised to answer your questions, and unlike humans, I don't have the capacity to lie. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the Mechanist's facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the Mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. <laughs>